So here we have heart rate versus power. Heart rate versus power, what's the more effective? A lot of people say, oh, power meter is just expensive, you don't need a power meter, just use heart rate. Heart rate is 1994 technology. Heart rate is better than nothing. Heart rate shows you how you're responding to the workload. Power shows you what you're actually fucking doing, all right? So power is like you go to the gym and you're lifting, you're bench pressing 50 kilos and then you're measuring your heart rate as well. Heart rate's not showing you what you're lifting. Heart rate shows you how you're responding. So when you're running or cycling, heart rate's not showing you really what you're doing. It's showing you how you're responding to the effort. So when you're doing power, power is the thing, all that matters. Power, your watts per kilo, your wattage, that's all that matters. So let's have a look here. This is an example. We have yesterday, February 17th. This is on a Strava segment, Kensington Road. Got the fastest time, actually equal fastest time, 4.47 with someone else. So... I was a second off getting in front. Uh, so we're, we're both of us at 4.47. Quite quite unique. Uh, February 17th, yesterday, and here in Australia, South Australia, mate, 170 heart rate. That literally is my marathon heart rate. I can hold 170 heart rate for 2 hours 48. My marathon PR is 2 hours 48. We'll get to that in a sec. So 170 heart rate. But 429 watts, I can't hold fucking 429 watts. 6.3 watts per kilo. That's like the best drugged up riders on the planet can hold 6.5 around about for uh, 6.5 watts per kilo for half an hour. So I'm holding 6.3 for five minutes on my limit. So there's no way I could hold 6.3 watts per kilo for two hours 48, even though my heart rate suggests that I can. My heart rate says, doing right, you can do this pace for three hours. No fucking way. I'm five minutes tapping out. And then we go here. A year ago, almost to the day, a year ago, 180 beats per minute, less power, slower time, but 10 beats more. What's up with that? You know, what's up with that? 10% more heart rate with about 10% less power. So again, heart rate is so variable. And none of these times are with any caffeine in the system. No aspirin puffers, this is just full natty bra times, uh, just steroids. <laughs> but we have here 171 heart rate, 504. Uh, you know, we've got a 173 with a 532, you know. So you can see here, the and the water, because wind doesn't really matter, all right? Because when you've got power on, it doesn't matter if you're going to headwind or a tailwind. Yeah, your time might drop because of the wind, but your power doesn't matter. Your power is going to be there. It doesn't matter if the wind's going behind you or in front power is already there so there we go that's where we see the heart rate is very very inaccurate and power that shows you what you are actually doing so bottom line when people say you know can you just use a heart rate monitor they don't know the fuck they're talking about they have no fucking idea they don't train the power meter if they have a power meter they're not looking at it <laughs> so they're not giving bad advice actually they are they're giving bad advice but not that they're trying to be helpful but they're sincere but sincerely wrong they have no idea so when you see a pro rider using a heart rate monitor it's not for pacing, it's just to see how they're responding, all right? So as long as you can hit your numbers, you're good to go. Because my heart rate's low there, what does that mean? It could mean I'm tired or I'm fit or... It's too many variables. But what this matters, 6.3 watts per kilo, 429 watts at 68 kilos for five minutes, that's what we're fucking talking about. That's uh, UCI Div 1 uh, wattage there. So you've got Cat 1 and then you've got Div 1 UCI Pro Div 1 2. Uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, if you look on the wattage charts, so just look up the wattage charts and look up 6.3 watts per kilo and see where Duran Rider places itself. And put down below, what's your five minute wattage per kilo? Watts per kilo? What's your five minutes watts per kilo? Yesterday, Duran Rider, 6.3. There you go. So, power meter, so helpful for pacing. So helpful for pacing. Shows you actually what you're doing. Shows you what you're doing. There you go. Explained. No, it helps to smooth it out. I'm telling you what, doing on it, mate. If there was a fucking chart for, for smugness, mate, smug fuckness, you'd be dropping the charts, mate. I want to get on a bit of gully. I want to get my spray on jeans, my rollers on. I want to jump on my mate's trip, go super light. And I want to follow you on Strava, mate. I'm going to follow you. And I'm going to take every KOM from your smug little Strava face, mate. 
I'm gonna be king of the mountain, dear I'm gonna be king of the fucking mountain, mate. 